Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, Ollie got demoted to the boot of the taxi, Henna finally realised that hiking in sandals is a bad idea, and on our adventure day out, we got caught in the biggest rainstorm ever. Welcome to Thailand, the sunny Thailand. <laughs> Hey guys, we've arrived in Koh Tao. We arrived here yesterday and had pretty much most of the day working, but we managed to squeeze in a bouldering session, which is really, really cool. There's a hostel called the Something Shack, uh, the Bunker, not even the shack, called the Bunker, which has a bouldering area. It's closing time. Henna has just completed the blue. How good, how good. <laughs> But now we're gonna start the day off with a hike and then I think Henna and Sydney are gonna finish the day off by starting their paddy course. Post this scene. Very nice up there. I do not like to pay any money for a hike and I've been bitten two or three times by mosquitoes. We paid 50 baht each to get up here, but it also includes entry to Freedom Beach and a sunbed, so if you come, then it's worth it. Bad shoes to bring. My feet have turned to leather. No, You're a climb, as I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a hike. Free t-shirt. Elliot probably steal that. we just walked past that, and Henna goes, Elliot would probably steal that. For reference, this is my friend Elliot from back home. I've traveled all around Asia with him and he said if you get 50 likes on this video, he'll come straight back out here. Very sweaty hike today, it's so hot and I decided to wear a jumpsuit, not the best idea. Also, don't wear flip flops going up that hike, it's like you're just bouldering rock climbing. But now we are going to go check out Freedom Beach, which is also included in the ticket. I think we already mentioned that when we were up on the viewpoint. This beach is absolutely stunning. It's, um, if you've ever seen Seychelles online, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Never been, but this is what I would imagine it to look like. Have a look at this. It's just like rocks everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. It's super quiet as well. There's only like three, four other people here and it's midday, so really nice. Hello, so if you come to Koh Tao, you probably are gonna come here for the diving and to learn how to scuba dive, or if you already know how to scuba dive, then maybe do a refresh course. Me and Sydney are actually going to do our raid course, um, qualify as a open water, down to 20 meters scuba diver, I think. Um, Jake's currently doing his refresher course. We've been doing the course for a couple of days now, but haven't had a chance to pick up and do a, like a little intro into the scuba diving, so doing it now. Um, but, oh, Sydney's at the door, hold on. Hello. Hello. I was just filming the intro of scuba diving. But going in the water. <laughs> it's so heavy. She's only a little child. Good afternoon. We were just about to head out for a, an afternoon of exploring Koh Tao, go to loads of viewpoints and beaches. But as we've come out, it started raining. So we're gonna grab a chicken sandwich from the place next door. We're actually staying at a place called Hydronauts. And we weren't really sure what to expect before we got here, but we, we love it. It's probably one of our favorite places we've been to in Asia, just because the room setup's amazing for us to work. Aircon, it's clean. Everything you could want in a cheap budget room. For, I think we're paying about five pounds 87 a night, which is crazy. And then the, it's right on the water. So the views are just beautiful. So yeah, now we're just waiting for our chicken sandwich to come and then we'll wait for the rain to pass and we can head out and show you some beautiful parts of Koh Tao. We've come to a dead end. So returning back from the dead end that we just went to, we saw this tiny sign on the side of the road saying um, taxi boat. 
So we've just come down and this man's taken us down to the beach. Um, I think it's just like a private boat. We can go there and back. Guys, just look at this view where we've just come down onto the beach. It is absolutely stunning. Oh, okay. <laughs> it appears that we have got to walk. Oh my God, Jake, it's so deep. We've got to walk all the way out to the boat. Really enjoying the private boat for 600 baht. It's like 15 pounds. It's pretty cool. Meet back here at four. Okay, cool. Thank you. So we've rocked up here about two o'clock. Thing to know is that it closes at four here. So we've got about two hours, which is probably perfect. So we're just on the way up to the viewpoint now. But on the way down around the island, there's like a really nice boardwalk and there's no one here. Oh, we've got the whole boardwalk to ourselves. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, two o'clock is a good time to come. How long <laughs> would it take you to punch down this tree, do you think? An hour. <laughs> An hour? You think you could punch it? Just... If I had boxing gloves on. No, with your fists. Two hours. No idea. Some people just have no idea about life. Well, how long would it take you? 2.1 hours. <laughs> we are really stupid because it's the second time today that we've lost a two litre bottle of water. Um, so we've just come to the top of the viewpoint and found a little shack that sells water. Also, just to note, the island doesn't let you have any plastic bottles on it. So everything's in reusable bottles, like glass bottles. It's really nice. Kind of gives me um, I'm a celebrity in the jungle vibes. But the view's really pretty. We're gonna sit, have a drink, look at the view for a bit, and then go up to the top of the viewpoint. Got a bit of a rock scramble up. Bloody flip flop broke on the way up the rock scramble. But? Let's look at the view. <laughs> if you didn't know, you can't have drones on this island, which is super nice. You don't get all of the views ruined by the stupid drone noise. But we also haven't registered our drone. We can't be bothered to register it. We have registered actually four times, but they never accept it. Yeah, apparently the documents are wrong, but they are all correct. Um, and then when you try and get in contact with them, they don't reply for like three weeks. So we've given up with that. So you'll have to just have my manual drone shot. So we're back at the bike now. We headed through a big storm, which is really fun. And now we're gonna head off to Mango Bay. We just went on a ride round, um, couldn't find Mango Bay, couldn't, didn't know how to get to Mango Bay, but we've ended up at a really nice viewpoint. Absolutely stunning. You have to visit this place, it's so cool. It's called Jim's View Bar. Jim's View Bar and the people here are so nice. They were just sat chatting to us for ages about how the place um, in, before COVID, it was uh, doing really well and then because of COVID it shut down and now they're redoing it all up again and they're gonna build a massage parlor underneath the viewpoint that we were just sat at. So you can get like a massage whilst watching the view. It's so, it's so cool, honestly. We paid a hundred baht to get in and that came with either water, Coke, or coffee. Well worth it. 100% worth it. We are now going to um, go back to our dive resort and watch the sunset and get some dinner. Welcome to the Swinnick Island! <laughs> Which, by the way, I am still shoeless, so that's fun. We're absolutely soaked. <laughs> it's like standing in a shower. But there's nothing we can do. We can't stay up the top of the mountain, so we have to go down. Basically, when we were up on the top of that viewpoint, we have literally just got caught in everything that we saw in the distance. It's just come over so fast. But and this road, this road is about to turn into a river. Oh my God. <laughs> We've just come back looking like we've just gone and run and dunked ourselves in the sea. Absolutely drenched. Typical.
as always, we forgot to film an outro whilst we were in Kotal, and uh, so we're in Malaysia now. Surprise, surprise. We actually had to leave the country to go get our visas sorted as we messed them up. Um, but we'll explain all about that in our 10 things you need to know about Thailand. So watch out for that in about two weeks. But here is a cost breakdown and we hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in Phuket, which is our next destination. And my cousin is coming out to meet us there. Bye. Bye.